So you're in the middle of nowhere and the fault light pops up on your van. What do you do? Keep watching to find out how one of these could save your trip. Keep up to date by hitting the subscribe button. And you can visit us at explorevan.uk where you can read more about us, our vans and our trips. Doing the amount of miles that we do and wanting to make the most of the time that we have, we want to be as self-sufficient as we can be. With most modern vehicles having an OBD2 port, this gives us the opportunity to understand any faults that we encounter while we're traveling. So normally when a fault light comes on, you've got a few options. You either limp yourself to a garage, you call out a breakdown service, or you take the risk and carry on. With this little device, we can plug it in and we can read the code off and then we can make a bit more of a decision whether we want to find a garage, whether we want to call down the breakdown service, whether it's something minor we can try and fix ourselves or get some expert advice on the phone. There are loads of different types of fault readers ranging from sub 10 pound ones that link to a tablet up to many hundreds of pounds specific to a make and model of vehicle. It's up to you what you look for. We just went with quite a cheap one that can read the fault codes off um, and links to the tablet that we already have in the van. This has helped us and other van lifers that we've helped out along the way on a number of occasions just to understand better what's going on and in most cases we've been able to fix faults there and then. And it's saved us an absolute fortune in time wasted and in money. So let me show you how it works. First, you need to know you've got an OD to B2 port. Now ours is slightly different. So we have a round socket in our Ivico. Uh, but we can get a converter that links it to a normal standard OBD2. Locating your OBD2 port is pretty easy. But if you struggle, wikiobd.co.uk will point you in the right direction. Once the reader is plugged in, you just need to pair it by Bluetooth with the tablet and you'll see the lights on the reader come to life. Using the recommended app, you'll see when it's connected to the engine's ECU and depending on the app, you may be able to see some of the engine performance data. It's then a simple matter of requesting the fault codes. In this case, there's no faults, but if there were, you'd see a code such as P0671. To find out what the code means, Google is your friend. Just by typing in the code, you'll generally find out what it means. Just in case you can't get online when you need to, you may want to download a list of codes in PDF or a reference app for your phone or tablet. This little box has saved us and others having to delay our travels. We've either been able to solve problems in situ or knowing what the fault is, be able to make our way back to the UK in our normal plans and sort it out when we've got home. For anything bigger, obviously you've got to sort it out locally. But for a really minimal spend, this is for us an essential piece of kit to have with you and really would recommend people have it if they've got an OBD2 port. So there we have it. If you've got any questions or feedback, just pop them in the comments and we'll get back to you. If you found this video useful, please like and share. If you don't want to miss any of our hints, tips, reviews and travel vlogs, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications.